Hey everyone, Brenda here. Well, it is um, November 2nd. It is Day of the Dead and it's Challenge Day. Um, <laughs> I've already filmed this once. I went through doing almost three quarters of an earring, chatting away to you, uh, having a great conversation, I'm sure. Um, and uh, <laughs> I th either I forgot to turn on my camera or the battery died, which I think that's probably what happened because I've been filming like crazy lately. So um, anyway, <laughs> because I've already done uh, most of one earring, I decided to finish it off. And that is what I'm going to be doing for my challenge today. I um, believe me, I went through all kinds of little, I'll pull in a little for you to have a look at this guy. I think it's pretty cute, but I went through quite a few different little changes and combinations and changed my mind like 20 times um, on doing this and I decided on this one and then so I just kind of went for it and um, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's what you're, uh, that's what I'm going to make today. Um, so I kind of already went through my challenge a little bit, but now you get to just see um, how I'm going to make this. Normally, I like to do my challenge with you <laughs> and, then, and then go off camera and make the second one, but I guess I'm doing it backwards. So here's my little setup. Um, I, I, I'm still not super happy because I used um, some white Nymo here, uh, white Nymo thread. And um, you might not be able to see it on camera, but there's just... There's sort of this little white line around the skull's face that I'm not too excited about, but um, I'll, I'll do this next one in Nymo as well. So, all right, what am I using? So I'm using some kind of cheap, crappy Nymo, and um, I my homemade conditioner that smells like mint. <laughs> I love it. I've got some size 11O Mayuki, and these are bronze opaque metallic. I am using some uh, Mayuki 15O galvanized silver mat. I love these beads. And I've got some three millimeter um, crystals. These are just sort of, I don't know, they're, I think these are kind of a rondelle. I have my needle and a thread, but oh, I don't know, arm span. Get that out of the way. I have a skull bead, an ear hook, and uh, and uh, an ear wire protector. So that's all we need to do this project. Let's make sure everything's gonna be kind of in frame here because I see in my uh, little viewfinder everything looks to be in frame and then I find that although I can see a lot down here on my frame when it comes to um, putting that on um, on the screen, I noticed that quite a bit is cut off. So anyway, I will try to keep this a little bit more forward so I can see everything. Okay, so my Nymo thread. And um, what I've done with this, what I did do with it, is I just, I don't know why I'm so like stuck on brick stitch lately, but uh, I'm very into brick stitch for some reason right now. I just can't seem to stop doing it. But um, anyway, that's okay. Um, so I did um, the brick stitch around with the uh, size uh, 11 Mayuki, and then I added the crystal. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through my skull here, and I'm gonna bring a bit through, and I'm going to tie a knot at the top of the skull. That's where I started on the other one, was on the top of the skull, so I'll do that here. And this is sort of a neat little trick I like to do. So I'll tie a knot, and I'll kind of bring it up to the top of the skull here. So just a single knot. And I want to bring it close to that 
that hole. Make sure my thread is right beside the skull there. Give myself enough room. And then I'm going to tie another knot. So I'm going to loop through once and twice with my thread. Oops. Can't see what I'm doing here. Um, we got a lot of snow today. So we're, we've actually ha um, been having snow since Halloween. We've been under a heavy snowfall warning. So my knot is right about there. I'm going to slide it over a little more and I'm going to put my needle through the skull again. And when I pull, I should pull that knot right inside the skull. And then I pull these two ends quite tight. And uh, I can even just cut this guy right off right now. I actually don't even have to worry about it. So there we go. All right. So I've got one string on there. I'm going to go through the top again one more time because I want to have two strings on either side or on each side of the skull. I want to have a total of four strings. So I've got two on that side. I'll turn this guy around. Make sure I'm in frame here. And I'll put another on this side. Try to keep those back away from the face a little. And another one. So two strings on each side here. So what I'm going to do is a brick stitch all the way around the skull. You've seen me do this before. So I'm going to pick up, starting with two beads, and come underneath that thread there. Oops, pull my tail out of the way. Give myself a little bit more length on that tail. It's kind of got me stuck for some reason. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull those. Now I'm going to come back up underneath that second bead that I added. I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull them fairly close to that hole there. And I'm going to go back down the first bead that I added and pull, and then back up the second bead. And yes, you've seen me do this before. So, just brick stitch all the way around. And I think the next time I make a mat, you know, I'm gonna get rid of the, the corners there. Driving me crazy. I need to make this rounded because as you can see, I'm just catching on every single thing that's, every corner that's on this thing. So I'm going mat over a little bit. Maybe that'll help too. And I, I want to make sure that um, that these strings stay to the side of the face. It's kind of easy to pull them um, forward of the face. And I've seen. I've seen this done, not on a skull like this, but um, I've seen this done on round beads. And of course, I've done it on round beads, and I'm quite liking the skull because the round beads, it's, it's sort of a challenge to keep them like side by side. They always want to kind of swing in together, which is natural on a round piece. But you can still have that happen on these guys as well. All right. So I'm going to just finish going all the way around the skull. You don't need to sit here and watch me add beads. Kind of nonstop. And then I will show you what I did after this. Okay, I'm about to put my 
last bead on here. Get underneath. Back up. And then I want to go down this bead, which was the very first one I added on. And then come back up this guy. All right. So that's all now closed together. See if I can get him to sit in my hands, right? So there he is. And uh, I really like this, uh, the yellow skull with this, um, with this um, bronze opaque. Looks really cool. Um, I'm not crazy about the, uh, the white string, but that'll be hidden when we start using these crystals here. So I'll move those beads over and I will move my crystals over to the other side. I'm just going to kind of keep this sort of offset here so I don't have to worry too much about. Okay, so now um, what I want to do is I'm going to pick up, I will pick up a crystal And I can slide that down, all the way down to the bottom. And I'll pick up one of my galvanized silver, put that on. And I'm going to just, I'm not going to worry about sliding it down, but I'm going to go back through this crystal and the same bead directly underneath it, where I was originally coming out of, and pull. And then I'll go up through the next bead right beside it. And I'll do that again. Really simple, simple project to do. Really easy. Quick and easy. You can whip one of these up quite fast, I think. Um, once I, um, with the other earring, once I really kind of figured out what it was that I wanted to do, it actually went by quite fast, so. Um, and then back up. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I get close to the top and then I'll come back and show you how to um, put the, uh, the ear wire on. Do this one more time for you. So I'm gonna skip that little 15 there I'm just going to go through the crystal and the uh, bronze 11 below that. And then back up the next bronze 11 beside it. And so on. So I will uh, come back when I come close to the top. All right, so I'm just putting on my last crystal before I have to put on my ear wire. Okay, so my ear wire, there's these two beads right at the top center here, and that's where my ear wire protector is gonna be kind of spread equally over. So I'm gonna come up through, and some of these might be a little bit hard to uh, come up, depending on the angle. It can be a little bit of a challenge, but persevere. Find some angle you can get in there. Maybe I'll just go in through the back. That might be simpler for me. I'll try that one instead. There we go. That worked. Okay. So I'm coming out of this bead here and nothing's going to be different at first. So I'll pick up my crystal and I will pick up my size 15. And then I'm also going to pick up my ear or my wire guard. And slide all of that down. And now I want to make sure that I'm in frame but I want to make sure that I come down this channel here and that my thread goes into that little groove on the ear wire. 
and I'm going to pull that kind of tight. So now I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to pick up a 15 and a crystal and then I'm going to go down the bead right beside the one I was just coming out and pull. There we go. And because this is where my earring or my ear wire will my ear hook will be, I want to reinforce that one more time. So I'll go back up. I think I'm going to have to go underneath again and come up through the back. I think that might be the easiest thing to do. And it can get kind of tight in there. So there we go. Make sure my thread didn't get cut on anything. All right, so now I'll just go back up that bronze bead there. And you might not be able to get through all of them right at once, but don't worry about it. My stomach is really growling. I think I've had too much coffee today. Then I want to go up everything again, that crystal. And this is really fiddly to hold in this position for me. It's if I was able to hold it closer to myself, I wouldn't have such a challenge. Okay. So up through there. Back up through the wire guardian. Give it a really good pull. Okay, and then I will go back down this side back through that bead below. And we'll give it all a good pull. But I do want to make sure that the uh, thread sits in that channel and it doesn't bounce out. And then everything is the same. Now I'm going to go back up the uh, bronze bead beside it and pull. Red crystal, a 15, skip the 15, go through the red crystal, as well as the bronze bead below it, pull, come back up the next one. All right, so I'm going to um, come all the way down, finishing that off, and I'll be right back. Okay. So that is, um, I've gone all the way around on this guy. I came out the back here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of catch the thread bridge around that the base of that bead. I'll get my fingers out of the way here in a second. So just wrapped around the base of the bead. I'm going to go through that loop twice. Pull. And now we'll come right back up that bead. And if I go through the crystal as well, that's fine. But I want to just at least come up through one of the beads here. There we go. Pull that through. There we are. And then I'm going to just pull that knot up inside the bead. Give that a cut. And now all I need to do is put my hook on. Bend that to the side, put this guy on, I'm just going to open it a bit more, maybe I'll bring it over to this side. Close that up. Okay, open my hook while I did that. <laughs> Close that up. And there we go. There he is. 
I'm getting the other one too. So that didn't take me very long. A uh, pair of Day of the Dead earrings. Really quick and easy to do. All right, so that's it for this project. Um, and uh, I will get on to the other videos I promised I would do <laughs> as soon as I'm able to. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like what I've done here today, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And definitely keep those comments coming. I really enjoy hearing from you and uh, the interaction. So until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.